here's a nice little question, guys. This is question 21 from the sample questions from Monday, uh, part two. Um, so this is kind of like one of the bigger questions of yesterday. And I don't think we solved it in class, um, but uh, it's still a good one. Um, and uh, it's definitely like a little brain tickler for sure. A good one to practice on. Um, so a bunch of stuff with it. Obviously, there's an equal sign, so we're going to be able to solve this. Um, there are, so there's one variable that we see in a bunch of different places. There's brackets. And if we take a look at those brackets, um, there's nothing we can really collect inside the bracket. Like there's no like terms inside these brackets. These are all different terms. So we're going to have to resort to some multiplication to try and um, clean this thing up. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this 10, or we're going to take the thing just outside this bracket, and we're going to multiply it by each term inside the bracket. All right, so remember when you see something like this 2 or like this 6 or the 10, when it's attached to the bracket but there's no sign in between, we assume multiply. So this is saying 2 times x and 2 times negative 2. And 6 times 2x and 6 times negative 2. So this is kind of like a, a renovation. If you've ever done a renovation, you know, you have your old living room, for instance, and then to make it a nice, pretty living room, you have to like blow it up, basically. You have to demolish everything and it just looks like a mess. And so that's kind of like what this question is going to look like. We're going to sort of blow it up. And when we blow it up, it's going to get bigger and longer and more complicated looking. And then we're going to clean it up and make it a nice, pretty living room. Um, okay, so let's go through these uh, piece by piece. Um, so remember that these, like, so this, if you're curious, this is a term, right? That's one term, and we assume that the stuff inside the brackets is one number. So this is one term with two factors, okay? So this question has three terms, this guy, this guy, and this guy three terms, and each of those terms have two factors, the number outside the bracket and then the stuff inside the bracket, right? Okay. So we're going to multiply this 10 times the first thing in the bracket, which is the 3. So 10 times 3 is 30. 10 times negative x. So do the sign first. So a positive times a negative gives us a negative. 10 times what we assume is 1. 10 times 1 gives us 10, and then we add on the letter. Okay, next, 2 times x gives us positive 2x, and positive 2 times negative 2 gives us negative 4. Okay, equal sign, 6 and 2x gives us 12x, and 6 times negative 2 uh, gives us negative 12. Sorry, that, that 12 looks kind of funny. <laughs> well, that's a 12. Okay, so now we want to group like terms. We've got sort of two types of numbers here, or two types of things. Uh, so now we have more terms, right? Because there's more things separated by pluses and minuses. And there's really like two main categories, the things with x's and the things with numbers. We're going to group all these numbers on the right side, and we're going to group all the x's on the left side. So on the left side, looks like we have negative 10x plus 2x. And we're going to take this 12x and bring it over here. Now, if we're bringing it to the left side of the equal sign, it's going to flip in sign. Um, so this, we assume, is positive. Now it's going to become negative. Okay, all of our x's are there. Equal sign. What's here already is negative 12. And then the other numbers, okay, this 30, we're gonna bring it over here. Um, we're assuming it's positive, And when it comes over, it's gonna become negative 30. And then the four is negative here. So when it comes over, it's gonna become positive. So now we can collect those like terms. We've just grouped them, um, and now we can actually 
like figure out what their values are. So we'll go negative 10. So um, when you input that, put the number in first, 10, and then I'm gonna hit negative, okay? 10 plus two minus 12 gives us negative 20x. And on the right side, negative 12, so 12, and then the negative sign, minus 30, plus 4, negative 38. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> now, this negative 20 times x equals 38, so instead of multiply, we are going to divide by negative 20. Oops and do the same to the other side. And so we're left with just x on the left because these guys cancel out. And uh, 38 divided by negative 20 gives us positive 1.9. So we found a nice clean number for whatever x is and this is like our living room renovation, right? We went from an old, nasty, crusty living room, we exploded it, made it a little bit bigger and more complicated and messier, and then we cleaned it up and put a nice paint job and new furniture, and now we have our nice, clean, fancy, modern living room. Oh boy, that's a great question. Good one to practice on your own too. Excellent practice question. Cheers.